So this is our first attempt on running the motor. Not actually our first attempt, but it's a repetition of what we're trying to do and the problem we encountered. So this is the setup for the motor. Uh, we connected all the uh, three faces to the controller, and the supply is connected from uh, is 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 connected to uh, this unit. So supply, uh, uh, and then for the control signals, uh, the the only one that we connected is for throttle, and then uh, interlock throttle interlock, and also for other ah, that's, that's, that's the only one that we connected. <coughs> so this is the protector. First, we turn on our our supply. Uh, we increase the voltage to 48 volt. Oh my god. <laughs> Again, we increase the voltage to 48 volts according to the, the manual. Okay, and then this is the KSI switch. The KSI, so we turn on the KSI, and then the contactor will turn on. So the uh, according to this blinking thingy. There's no problem at all. Okay, it's uh, there's no fault. Okay, when uh, the problem is when we try to when we try to press the throttle. Okay, uh, so this is the total that is already been pressed. It's up to, uh, it's almost 50%. So if 50% of the total is only this much of speed, uh, it's not this. It's, it's, it's too slow. But and, okay. and 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 uh, it draws up to 14 amperes without any load. Uh, it draws 18 amperes, 20 amperes. More than uh, we don't know whether this is the correct setting or not because it draws too much current for no load system. When we put it to 50% total, this is the only speed that we get. This is the value of the RMS current. And the voltage drop rapidly. The problem is the, the, the voltage from the power supply does not drop, but the voltage should drop. Yeah.